My name is Ozzy Marcel, the most luscious locks on YouTube, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at this abomination I purchased from Cheapest Chips, a discount store here in Australia, for five dollars. Gladiator at a parfum. Now, straight away, you're just going to tell that this is cheap packaging. Just look at it. And on the back, there is a warrior with a sword. Just what you want to see when you're purchasing a men's fragrance. And wait till you see the bottle. I've already had a little bit of a peek at it. And the smell just radiates straight out of the bottle. Very cheap looking. Just sort of like a roughly humanoid looking uh, shape with just chiseled abs. And here's the bottle as it is. <laughs> Alright, let's spray this. Atomizer is decent, so I'll, uh, I'll give it points for that. I'm going to spray it this way and show you guys. Got to give it points for the atomizer, even though the, the cap is cheap and plastic and just absolutely horrible. First impressions are perfumers, alcohol, uh, vodka, uh, maybe some sort of uh, woody note, a little bit of spice. It is about as generic as a men's fragrance can get. It's a little soapy as well. Uh, it sort of smells like Champion by Davidoff mixed with uh, Polo Blue mixed with Aqua de Jo. It is not a pleasant fragrance by any stretch of the imagination and even for five dollars, even at such a bargain price point, this is not ideal. If you're looking to buy a gift for a five-year-old, give them the five dollars instead as I think that would go further than this bottle of fragrance, men's fragrance. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of development here. It is generic, it is cheap. There's some sort of floral action happening. There's some sort of floral note creeping up. I want to say rose, but I really doubt it's anything close to rose. It's just literally one of the most generic things you'll ever smell. And I'm talking about more generic than the Adidas men's fragrances or the Nike men's fragrances or anything along those lines. This is just absolute, you know, low hanging fruit. And I know we probably shouldn't be uh, criticizing fragrances on the $5 price point for smelling, you know, not great, but uh, for $5 you can do so much better. Even like one of the Lynx slash Axe body sprays are probably a better value proposition than this right here. It actually, you know, it's it sort of reminds me of uh, lemon air freshener now. It's gonna give me a headache. It's already starting to dry down and it is not potent in any way, shape or form. But it sort of seeps out of the bo you know, out of the uh, the bottle in the packaging. So I don't understand that at all. It's it's weird to me. It's both powerful and weak at the same time which isn't ideal when it comes to men's fragrances or fragrances in general. Anyways, do I recommend this $5 men's fragrance from uh, Cheapest Chips? Absolutely not. Save your money, save your $5. Um, I don't really have much more to say. Uh, it's just a terrible fragrance. Don't purchase this. And uh, yeah, have you ever had the uh, displeasure of wearing one of these before? If you have, let me know in the comments below. My name is Ozzy Marcel, this is Gladiator by Lovely Perfumes, and until the next video, I'll catch you guys around.